Hey everybody, this is JD Gaming. Today I have a special opening for you guys. When I heard about all of the new Cyber Dragon support that was coming out in the OCG, I decided that it might be a good time to pick up three of the Cyber Dragon Revolution structure decks from last year. I didn't do any openings of this, and um, if you've been following my channel for a while, then you know that around the time uh, GX was the main show, at least over here in the Americas, it was basically what everyone in my class was playing. Like It was the time when it became the thing to do, the fad that everyone was in on, and even people who would normally never go ahead and you know play the game were suddenly playing the game. So it was this very awesome time, and I have some really great nostalgic moments and memories from back in those days. So I wanted to do an opening somewhat related to those since I'm kind of, you know, hyped with heroes already and I thought might as well try some Cyber Dragon stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and open up one of these for you guys on camera and yeah, so let's get right into it. So if has all the newer decks, it does have like the plastic wrap that is easier to open. Thank goodness they changed that recently. All right, so first we have Cyber Dragon Nova our rank 5 monster that will be upgraded into an infinity soon. We have an ultra rare cyber twin dragon, cyber dragon core, which lets you fetch a uh, material, uh, let's see, speller trap that contains cyber in its name, or you can just summon out a cyber dragon by banishing him straight from your deck. So banish him from your graveyard, summon a cyber dragon straight from your deck. We have cyber dragon dry, which I believe is 3 in German. Uh, I know the other one is Svi, which was uh, previously printed, but basically Dry and Svi, I'm not sure the order should be 2 and 3. And let's see, we have Cyber Dragon, two different artworks of it. And these basically represent uh, Zane's different incarnations, if you think back to the show. Um, if you have seen the show, essentially what it is, is uh, this was the original Cyber Dragon, a monster of light. Here the monster is still a light card, but it has this dark aura as Zane had the cyber dark dragons and the chimera tech dragons and kind of started going more towards the dark side of his deck. We have cyber dragon Svi here, uh, two of them, and then we have two proto cyber dragons which uh, kind of are obsolete nowadays because we do have dry which is the same thing plus more and uh, we have a single cyber valley, two cyber larva, a cyber phoenix, cyber dinosaur which was a jump promo way back in the day, Cyber Eltonin, again another jump promo. Armored Cyburn, which gives a destruction ability to a Cyber Dragon monster. Satellite Cannon, which is a cool reprint, I guess. I never really got one of these before because it used to be uh, an ultra rare in like a tournament pack of some kind. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Solar Wind Jammer to help us bring out Cyber Dragon Nova. Jade Knight. Uh, Falcon B Beta. Falchion Beta. I'm not sure how to say it. But uh, yeah, two fighter plane things. We have Reflect Bounder, Light Hex Sealed Fusion, and the Shining Angel. Here's another new card here, Cyber Repair Plant. This lets you either fetch a machine type monster from your deck to your hand that is light, uh, which means Cyber Dragon fits, or you can target a light machine type monster in your graveyard and shuffle it into your deck. But if you have three or more Cyber Dragons in your graveyard when you activate it, you can activate them both in an order. So you'd be able to fetch one from your deck and then go and recycle one as well to load another one of these repair plants. Evolution Burst, a pretty good removal card considering it kills any one thing if you have a Cyber Dragon. And nowadays we have so many different kinds. Super Polymerization, unfortunately it is banned as of now, but still a cool reprint. It was really important of a reprint when it first came out too last year because it had been a rare in the, I believe, uh, Phantom Darkness when it first came out, and then it was a secret rare in the Raw Yellow Mega Packs and the previous GX Legendary Collection, but they weren't, you know, widely available other than that. We have Power Bond, Limiter Removal, Mega Morph, all for OTKs, uh, DDR, Different Dimension Reincarnation, MST, good staple stuff, let's see, Light of Redemption. Machina or Machina Armored Unit, Cyber Network, another trap. This basically lets you stockpile a Cyber Dragon monster into your banished area, and after three turns it self-destructs. When this dies, whether it's self-destructed or was killed, you get to go ahead and summon as many 
of your banished machines that fit this card's description as possible. So you basically load them all up for three turns and summon all those. And if anything else was banished, you get to bring them out as well. So pretty interesting if you combo it with something like Chimera Tech Over Dragon. Unless it says you can't do that, but I think you can. Not sure. You just can't attack when you activate this card, I believe. Let's see. Cybernetic Hidden Technology, an old card, three of a kind, which is just cool because it has Cyber Dragons on the picture. Trapstone. Dimensional Prison, and Malevolent Catastrophe, all really great reprints here. Wabaku, and Call of the Haunted. So overall, I thought this was a pretty awesome deck, not only because it introduced tons and tons of new cards, five of them in total, uh, which is a very good number, but it gave many reprints of sought-after cards, like this is the first time you could get this version of Cyber Dragon with the alternate artwork really easily. You get a ton of the Cyber Dragon support that you would normally want to hunt down, for a Cyber Dragon deck, so like Valley used to be super rare. Well, now you can get this as a common here again. We have, you know, the larvas were printed as promos, so now you can get a pair of them all at once. We have just some decent reprints overall for this deck, like Super Poly, again, now banned, but used to be great when it first came out. Power Bond, Limiter Removal, and then just some general staples like MST, the Dimensional Prison, Catastrophe, and the Trap Stun. So, very great deck overall, and I was able to pick up three of these for about $7 each on eBay if you're interested in them. Uh, I'm not selling mine, but I can put the link in the description box down below. The guy is still selling tons of them, and it looks like he's legit because I'm, you know, I got these within a week, and uh, they're in great condition for a great price, so I definitely think it's worth it. So if you'd like to pick them up, you know, go down in the description box and you can do that. Again, it's not me, and I'm not really endorsing this guy or anything or endorsed by him. I'm just sharing where I happen to buy it, and it seems to have worked out for me. So go try it out if you are interested. So that's it for now. As usual, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is JD Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time.